the champagne had to be put on ice, as second place when Lithgow Rose edged past Lashi 1-0, but David Weitzman can clinch the league crown on Wednesday night if they defeat Saki again, this time away from home. Bonnerig lead Lithgow by 8 points, with the leaders having two more matches to play while Lithgow have three. Bonnerig have a far superior goal difference of 60 to 28, so a draw in Clackman and Shia would all but seal the title too. For that, Bonnerig have a 5 in Lothian's Cup quarterfinal at home to fall house tonight and manager White is relishing a big week ahead, it was another good win for us maintaining the pressure on Linlith go to catch us, said White. We had goals from the strikers with good doubles from Kyle and Kieran, then Keith Locke, when he came on as a sub. Big games are coming round fast now starting with a cup tie against Faldhouse on Monday followed by what could be the title winner on Wednesday at Saki. We still have a lot to play for but it's in our own hands now. We didn't win any silverware last season due to too many games at the end of the season, but this year we look on track to get something. Bon Erich, who will depart the junior setup at the end of the season to join the East of Scotland League, took to the field with central defender Ewan Moyes playing his 100th game for the club, and they soon had Saki under pressure, with both Magachi and Wilson prominent. Saki, though, were pushing hard themselves and rosekeeper Michael Andrews was kept busy keeping them out. However, Rose took the lead in the 25th minute when Wilson chased a long ball into the box, turned his marker and drove the ball home from 15 yards. Then in the 33rd minute Kerr Young crossed low for Mugachi to knock the ball over the line doubling their lead. Von Erich pushed hard in the second half to finish the game off. They did that, in the 60th minute when Wilson grabbed his second of the game with a hooked finish from 10 yards. Rose were now in complete control and it was only a matter of time before they scored again. This time it was McGatchy who was on the end of a good ball into the box for his second of the match. It became a stroll in the sun with Saki having given up the ghost and the crowd looking for a fifth. Substitute striker lock, on for Magachi, gave the crowd what they were looking for with a clinical header with four minutes remaining. One of the stars of the season for Bonnierig has been the displays of midfield maestro Lee Curry in his first term at the club after leaving Musselburgh and he is delighted with the switch he has made. It's been a great move for me and hopefully I've done enough to keep the support happy, said Curry. I've been lucky enough to get some goals from free kicks, but it's about providing the ammunition for our strikers and that's what happened today. Team didn't win anything last season, so hopefully we can get something this year starting with the title on Wednesday. The strikers did their job but it's incredible where a lot of our goals come from. We've had goals from full-backs, central defenders and the midfield as well so we don't rely on just those playing up front. It's my job though to supply the passes for those around me to finish and if I can get goals myself it's a bonus, at Prestonfield, Linlithgow knew anything but a win would give Von Erig the title, but Tommy Coyne was the difference against a plucky Lashy side, netting his 292nd goal for the club. They don't play again in the Super League until Saturday, by which point the title race may be done and dusted. Pennycook were struggling for fit players at home to Gene Field, with boss Johnny Harvey coming on as a substitute in a 2-0 defeat. Reese Davies and Robbie Holden got the swift goal either side of halftime. In the Premier League, champions Musselburgh thumped Faldhouse 6-2 at home, with striker Matthew King helping himself to four goals in the process. Stephen McDonald and Bradley White were also on the scoresheet for the Olive Bank side. 
Paddington beat Glen Rothes 3-0 at home with Declan Quinn scoring a hat-trick to keep them in contention for a playoff place. The drama of the weekend came at Central Park, Whitburn, where Arniston Rangers triumphed 3-0. However, Arniston manager Jock Landells announced his resignation at the end of the match, saying that he has taken the club as far as he can. In the East of Scotland Cup, Newton Grange star were beaten 5-4 on penalties by Dundonald in fight with George Hunter equalising for the visitors in a 1-1 draw at full time.